It is new bike day. This big box here is my brand new bike. Last time on the no. UNP. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. something that is a big box it is new bike day this big box here is my brand new bike it is the new edition of the Explorer there's several new things with this I'm gonna record a series of videos showing the unboxing the assembly what's new with this bike and a general overview of how the bike works we live on a busy street there's gonna be a lot of traffic noise. Someone's running a jackhammer or something in the distance. So just bear with us. My customers ask me all the time, which end is up? Because when the bikes are delivered, the delivery driver puts the box uh, on its side usually. So, and there's no indication of which is up. The answer is it doesn't matter. It should be fine whatever side you open it up from. What I like to do is find these clips from these straps and I kind of just declare that as the bottom. Done. <laughs> that is now the top. These things are packaged like crazy. There is a ton of packing material. You're going to want to get rid of it and get it out of the way. Don't do that. Don't throw anything away until your bike is fully assembled. Sometimes there's small parts and things like that that might be you might not see when you first unbox it. So make sure you're fully done with your bike and then dispose of all the packing materials. I like to make sure I set up in a place where there's enough room for me to get around the entire box. Okay. This is the rear swing arm. I can't wait to show you this. It's fully redesigned. Super bomber. Oh, look, a wheel. Ah, oh, they gave me the red roll off. That's awesome. All right. This is extra upholstery for my old bike, which I'll be selling. This is the seat, and there's a whole bunch of parts packed into there. chain. <laughs> More upholstery for the old bike. Oh man, she's beautiful. You can start to see the bike now. Oh, she's beautiful. All right, we've got all the parts out. Now it's time to pull the mainframe out of the box. This bike actually has a 1000 watt motor. I'll let you know what I think about it. This is a 222 millimeter coilover. What? What do you got, buddy? Hmm. I got it, thank you. Now I've assembled quite a few of these over the years and what I like to do is pull the frame out 
and set the rear end on the edge of the box so I can assemble the rear swing arm and put the rear wheel on right here. Boom. So now we have everything pulled out of the box except for the two front wheels. The two front wheels are underneath the bike. We'll get those out last. So these are the parts that you end up with and I'm just gonna unwrap them. Wow. <laughs> Everything is so beautiful when it's brand new. This is not gonna look like this for very long. This is a roll off speed hub. I love the bright red. Absolute Black sent me a red chain ring and it's gonna match really, really well. 27 fives, plus size tires. This bike can go anywhere. All right, looks like they took the chain off and wrapped it up separately. I'm just gonna leave that for now to, to keep it protected. This bike has two chains. Here's the other one. Oh, did they give me a note? Front. This is the brake rotor. I'm gonna leave that wrapped up too. I'm gonna wait to unwrap that. Another brake rotor. And another brake rotor. The manufacturer does a really good job of wrapping everything up so that it's really, really protected during the shipment. But man, it is. Not easy to get everything open. Oh yeah, look at that. Wow, the craftsmanship is just so beautiful. I mean, look at the attention to detail on the upholstery. Look at this carbon fiber work. And then just look at the welding, the weld work and the craftsmanship on the seat brace. We have our little helper. Hey buddy. He wants to eat all the styrofoam. Now for the best part, the rear swing arm. Wow, look at this thing. This is beautiful. I've been asking the manufacturer for a rear swing arm like this for a long time and this is it's really cool to see what they ended up with. Okay, so that's the unboxing of the brand new Explorer. The next step is assembly.